Welcome to part 2 of coronavirus update or COVID-19 update and in this second part we're going to talk about the signs and symptoms, how it spreads and how you can prevent all the precautions that you can take against the virus. Someone who has been infected by the virus exhibits the following symptoms. Number one, high fever. Number two, a dry cough. Number three, someone coughs blood or sputter from the lungs. Number four, that person experiences sharpness of breath. Number five, you have joint or bone pain. Number five, you have a sore throat. Number six, you have a headache, a serious headache. If you feel like vomiting, you have a stuffy nose, you have swollen eyes, and you diarrhea. You should go for checkup, for medical checkup in a facility that you trust, a facility that you know, a facility that has the capability to be able to identify the virus. Go for medical checkup, check up with your doctor or visit a hospital to be diagnosed, to be checked if you have the virus. Okay? It may not necessarily be that but you should if you exhibit those symptoms and you feel tired all the time or fatigue then you should probably and definitely visit a health facility so that you can be checked that the earlier the better covid 19 spreads from one person who has the virus to the next person so if somebody sneezes or coughs around somebody else the droplets will either fall on a surface or an object and if somebody touches that object or that surface and touches any part of your body without sanitizing your hand then definitely you'll get the virus if you breathe air exhaled from an infected person directly to your nose or to your mouth then there is a chance that you contract the virus. So guys, let's be safe. The information going around is that keep a one meter distance from someone who you suspect has been infected from the virus. Then keep a distance. It's for your own safety. I know we have friends and sometimes you feel weird keeping a distance from them. Just do it for the sake of your own life. If you're not infected, there are ways that you can avoid the virus. Number one, sanitize your hand regularly. Sanitizing mean, means you get a hand sanitizer. Rub it, hand rub. Rub your hands, clean them. To the areas that you really pay attention to when cleaning your hands, please do. Clean your hands, sanitize every now and then it's not weird just do it you're keeping yourself safe it's one way that has been identified that you can keep away from the virus okay that you can prevent the virus from getting into you your body so before you touch you rub your eyes with your fingers or touch your noses or touch your mouth with unsanitized hands please sanitize them before you do that if you can't sanitize, then wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water and running water. Wash them thoroughly to keep yourself safe. Number two, if you feel that you've been infected by the virus, please, please stay at home unless you're going for medical checkup. Unless you're going out to a health facility where you're going to see your doctor. Stay at home. Staying at home prevents you from infecting other people. Care about others, okay? Number three, when you're sneezing or coughing, cover your mouth or your nose so that you prevent the droplets from falling on other surfaces or objects or from spreading to other people around you. So when you sneeze or you cough, use a tissue and then cover your nose or your mouth. Additionally, you can sneeze to the inside of your elbow. Okay? Yeah. That way you can't contact 
the virus to other people. Okay. Number three, once you are done sneezing or coughing, flush the tissue. Don't put it for further use or you say I'll use it some other time. No, just trash it and get a clean one to use. Number four, as I said earlier, sanitize your hand, your hands regularly. Every now and then, sanitize your hands once you visit a washroom, before you eat, once you eat, when you touch something, when you, if you feel your hands are dirty, sanitize and sanitize and sanitize to keep yourself away from the virus. The last one, engage in hygienic practices. If you it's now time to up your game on hygiene. Clean surfaces, things that are common, that are touched by everyone else, like switches, the top of a table, a chair, anything that you know various people come into contact with. Clean them. Clean them thoroughly. And when you clean them, use something that has alcohol content in it. World Health Organization states that the alcohol content in your sanitizer should be 60%. So ensure that whatever you're using has 60% alcohol content so that it can be effective in, in the process, okay? So guys, one more thing. Avoid fear. I know a virus like this that is spreading fast in various places, it's, it can instill fear in you because every time you walk around, you feel like somebody has that. I know I was somewhere today, somebody sneezed and you were behind him. Everybody was scared and people then, it's okay to be scared but ensure that that fear doesn't get a better part of you. Let the knowledge of the virus guide you into taking the necessary precautions to prevent yourself from becoming infected and even from infecting others. But sometimes you can allow fear creep into you and slowly by slowly you start becoming affected and you might even get sick from just being in fear over something that you don't have. Take the precautions but avoid having fear taking the better part of you. Okay? And above all, please like stay safe, avoid crowded places, avoid gathering. I know government officials in various countries and states have banned or have closed down gatherings that create crowds. Places that you go that can create, that people can find themselves in a crowd, then avoid such places. The government says you avoid, avoid schools have been closed so that kids can stay at home with their parents where they can self-quarantine. Do that. People have been advised to work from home. Please do that. If your boss allows you to work from home, please work from home so that you can prevent such issues. Okay? Thanks for watching. Please stay safe. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Healthy and alive. Okay? Also, hope I'll be healthy. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And see you in my next video. Take care, everyone.